All right, guys, so it's time for another update video. And no, Demon is not broken. I am just trying to get the old LED lights on there. Because as you can see, I had all the holes and everything for the old chassis. I never did it for the new chassis. So I took them all apart, at least as much as I needed to, so I can go ahead and do all the LEDs. And I also need to do the wire covers for all the cables because I used to have them on there, but I didn't anymore but uh, yeah I do like this new look for the new wires for the new VXL system but uh, yeah I prefer the whole blue wire cover thing because I have plenty of it left over and definitely got to utilize it but that's what's going on with Demon and that's about all that's going on with RC stuff <laughs> it has been a very busy past couple weeks a lot of birthdays a lot of get-togethers and just me doing a whole bunch of stuff other than working besides working well i am still working a lot but yeah just been busy but it's the end of the month so patreon is gonna go ahead and give me 30 dollars in like three to five days i believe so i'm gonna go ahead and pick out an upgrade guys any suggestions for an upgrade let me know because i have plenty of rcs to choose from and plenty of upgrades to get for all of them but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's go ahead and move on to shoutouts. This week's channel shoutouts go to RC Trail Runners, Ben Brown, Mason and Connor. Yeah, Canner. <laughs> Sorry. iPod Guy55 and King Lennon Productions. Guys, if you want a chance of a shout-out, just ask for one in the comments below. If I choose you, you'll get one. All right, guys, so it's time for some more Q&A. Let's go ahead and start off with Jesse Tran. What should I name my Black Traxxas Rustler XL5? Oh, boy. I don't know if you guys know this, but over the years, there has been hundreds of people who have asked me to name their RCs. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not blowing that out of proportion. Hundreds of people. I have named hundreds of RCs. And it's never an easy thing. Black Rustler? Mmm. Uh, Panther is, comes to mind. There, do Panther. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think of more. It's just, oh, I've done it so many times. I don't know anymore. Next question comes from Freddy DA Gamer. Oh, and what name you're going to suggest for my VLW, oh, WL Toys A959 buggy? I don't know. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of it. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Hmm. The WL Toys. I actually was looking over the WL Toys last week. They're not an official RC brand. They're actually considered to be a toy brand RC, but they are definitely on the higher end of toy brand. I mean, there's plenty of uh, videos I was looking at where people modified them with like hobby grade engines and stuff and it was really neat I should say motors not engines because engines is nitro but uh, will I ever get one there's not really a big assortment of upgrades you can get for it aftermarket because they are considered toy grade there are some things you can do with it like new remote motor ESC and stuff like that servo but uh, overall I don't think I will get one but they would be neat to check out at least Next question comes from, whoa, Wooden Motorsports? Getting trenches from my Pied 4x4, will I survive without metal drive shafts? You should actually survive. I don't know for how long, and it really depends on what kind of terrain you're going to be driving on. If you're doing a lot of off-road with um, 3S and a VXL system or a brushless system, then more than likely they're going to be chewed up pretty quickly. Uh, cheapest alternative is to get the slash heavy duty uh, drive shafts. There we go. Those should actually hold up a lot more than the stock ones. If they don't have them already. Next question comes from Colton Trossel. Does anyone know how to balance trucks? Ugh. Rustler VXL tires. They were shaking after going past half speed. I tried the holes in the tires but still shook like crazy. Uh, Colton, uh, no, not Colton, 
Tony E says, cheap easy fix is to mount them on something that spins freely and add small amounts of hot glue to the inside of the rim. That's actually not a bad idea. Hot glue, or you can try the rubber tack that you can get like at Home Depot, and not Home Depot, Office Max. It works as an alternative to actual using metal tacks, except it's rubber tack. You can just stick that on there and on the opposite side of where the weighted end is, and it should even out. Next one comes from Kevin Larson. When will we see more of the 100 mile per hour wrestler? Let's go ahead. Oof. Next question comes from Kevin Larson. When will we see more of the 100 mile per hour wrestler? That's a good question. I'm not too sure. Um, once money starts gets more situated, because all I have to do is replace my glasses, because as you guys can see, they're still broken. Once I get that taken care of, everything else is actually pretty financially stable, so I can go ahead and start investing in all the RCs again. That's why I set up the whole Patreon to begin with, was a little bit of a jump start, so I can just... Ugh, I cannot talk tonight. But the Patreon's meant to do a jump start so I can get on upgrades faster, because like I said, finances really went out of whack at the end of last year, especially with the whole timing belt issue with my actual car so as soon as probably next month I should be able to start spending a lot more money on the RCs including the 100 mile per hour rustler. Next question comes from Tony E. What are your thoughts on making a mid-motor rustler by flipping the trans 180 degrees using the stock chassis? Hmm. What motor should I use now that the stop or the shock tower is further back? A Nitro Rustler body? Cheers! I actually watched your video on it, <laughs> lol. I had a broken chassis that I started to work on, but I'll probably end up getting one from Chucksworth RC. I guess I should have said I had broken the chassis that I practiced on. Wow. <laughs> uh, modifying a Rustler to have a mid-motor, that would be interesting. I honestly want to see how you do that. That's really cool. So if you figure it out, because I, I would literally have to have all the parts in front of me to really see what I could do with that. But if you figure it out, let me know. I definitely want to check that out. Next question comes from Derp. A lot of people ask this, how old am I? I'm a lot older than what people think, but I'm not really old, so I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Next question comes from Schwent RC Racing. If you could get any radio for Demon, what would it be and why? That's a interesting question. I never really thought about it. I've always been just really satisfied with the Traxxas radios. If not the Traxxas, then um, the Fly Skies. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. They have a really high-end Fly Sky remote. I think I would go ahead and get that just to check it out because it has the digital screen and everything. I'd like to see how that works out. Next question comes from Extreme RC Trucks. Why don't I put nine more RCs on the Silver Fly Sky remote? The receivers are 595. Schwent says they're seven to $10 each. I don't remember what their price is. I remember I can find them as low as about six. So yeah, between you guys. <laughs> um, and he also says he likes every RC having their own RC radio and receiver just in case he has people over and have them drive around, which is very true. One thing I really like to do is that when I do have friends over, we can all drive the RCs at the same time. Having it all on one remote, uh, not always a good thing, especially when it comes to RC mini movie, because there's been times where I need separate remotes because I have numerous RCs driving around at once. I can't do that when they're all on one receiver. Though it would be nice, it would save a lot of money. Next question comes from Average RC. What are your thoughts on the new Fortech 2.0? There's a new Fortech? Why haven't I heard about this? Well, now I'm gonna have to go do some research. Next question comes from RC Studios. What brand of LiPo do you use? I've actually been going with Dynamite lately because they have a pretty affordable uh, hard case LiPo that I like. I used to go with Turnigy, but Turnigy, as far as I know, doesn't sell hard case lipos, and I prefer the hard case because I like to bash. So <laughs> having a soft, non-hard case lipo is not a good option for me. So dynamite's been my choice. 
Next question comes from Justin's RCs. Just out of curiosity, Jason, have you ever watched racing videos of the big guys? Races like Stadium Truck and Buggy. If you haven't, you should honestly check it out. There is a lot of tech behind how to get a car to race and jump. Yes, there is. <laughs> Believe me, I was trying to do some research on that stuff and it is amazing the level of uh, craziness you can take this hobby to when it comes to precise measurements. It's just, it's crazy. It's cool though at the same time because you can have fun and just mess around with the hobby or you can take it to a professional level as I guess you could say it. I have not heard of that channel yet. I have watched random videos from a lot of, I guess you can say, yeah, professional RC enthusiasts and it's amazing. It really is amazing what you can do with an RC, especially how much you can invest into an RC because it can get costly. If you didn't know that already, I mean, average RC costs about 300 If you want to start doing aluminum upgrades and all that stuff, it's easily anywhere from 100 to $200. If you want to start getting into the professional racing and everything, you can easily spend two grand on an RC just like that. And then it takes a lot of maintenance to keep that RC going. Another question he had was, with donation money or whatever, have you ever considered getting the Traxxas LED light bar for the Stampede 4x4? It cost about 15 bucks. Yes. In fact, that is an upgrade I've been wanting to get for a very, very long time. I just always forget about it. Maybe I should do that. What do you think, guys? Should I use half of that money to get the LED light bar? It would give me $15 left to buy something else. Let me know. Next question comes from Noah David. Where's the next mini movie part? Oh, I just gotta sit down and do all the editing. The editing is for the most part kinda done, but I have to do all the timing for the dialogue. And that just takes time. And then once I get all that done, there's already a couple scenes I wanna reshoot and there's a couple more stuff I wanna add to it, so. It's a work in progress. I mean, with the first RC Mini Mooney, Mini Mooney, Mini Movie, it was able. Oh my gosh, I can't talk at all. <laughs> with the first RC Mini Movie, it was really easy to throw together because it was really simple. But now that there's so many RCs that are talking on the screen or in the movie, and there's specific shots of how they drive by and how I see it. It just takes that much longer to pump them out. And with how busy I have been lately, I haven't had a chance to really get into it. So, like I said, I will get them out as soon as I possibly can because I got the director's cut of the last part that I need to introduce. And then there's the next part, which is almost done. So, it's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. All right, next question comes from RCBro5000. Shout out if can and I'm starting a YouTube channel. What do I need to make videos? A camera, uh, editing software, and a way to upload it. So <laughs> that's all you really need. In fact, you can do that all on a phone, which is where a lot of people start. If you have a fairly recent iPhone or some kind of Samsung phone, I guess you can go with other brands, I don't know. <laughs> Those are the two main ones. Just record. There are uh, apps on here where you can edit that footage and then just upload it to YouTube. You are going to have to make a YouTube account, which you already did because you are making comments. But that's why you need to make videos. Now, how to make a successful YouTube channel? That I can I probably will one day make a separate video explaining that, but there is a lot to it. But yeah, just have fun with it. That's, that's the big thing. Have the fun with it. Next question comes from Chaz Schmidt. What's the gearing on Demon? Demon's gearing right now is 70 to tooth spur and 36 tooth pinion. All right, and that's pretty much up for this update, guys. So uh, next week, I should have the money to go ahead and start doing upgrades again. Really looking forward to it. I miss doing upgrades. I really, really do. If you have any suggestions of what I should do for upgrades, Please leave it in the comments below. Oh no, that's not good. Why is this leaking? You can see because this is dry, this is shiny and wet. In fact, you can see the oil going all the way down the A-arm. 
Wow, these shocks suck for their price. Ugh. I'm going to have to take that apart and find out why it's leaking. It shouldn't be. Oh, well. Ugh, another thing to do. <laughs> But I'll also try to get this LED system taken care of. I also want to fix the LEDs that are on Demon's tires because they're supposed to light up when they spin and they don't for some reason. Yeah, they don't. I guess they're just dead. Yeah, probably need to replace the batteries. So yeah, I'll try to get Demon back up and looking good again. Until next week, guys, take it easy, keep our scene. Have fun and take care of yourself.